Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be taking a look under the hood of my 96 GMC Sierra with a 305 Vortec. Uh, I've been having a problem with the top idler pulley squeaking, so I picked up a new one at CarQuest, and I'm going to show you how, how to replace that today. I'll go ahead and fire it up and give it a rev a little bit so you can hear it squeak. Alright everybody, now we're going to get to the actual removal and replacement of the pulley. Um, I've already done this, but the first thing you need to do is get a 3 8 drive ratchet and there's going to be a square hole on the front of your belt tensioner and push down and pop the belt off of your alternator pulley uh, so then your belt hangs free. Then we're going to take our 13 millimeter uh, socket and we're going to loosen this idler pulley, just move your belt out of the way so uh, the pulley can move. Alright, and now we'll go ahead and loosen that nut on the front of the pulley. And just start backing that with your ratchet until it's finger tight, and then you can loosen it with your fingers. And there you go. Oops, keep the tripod. All right. Now when it comes out, it's going to look like this, and uh, it's going to have this keeper on the back. And I'll go ahead and show you how to remove that. All right, now what you need to do is get yourself a small screwdriver and up underneath these tabs, pry up on them until you can start spinning this loose with your fingers. And you're gonna need to have your 13 millimeter wrench on the other side so that it doesn't spin while you're doing it. So I'll go ahead and get all these men up and then get back. All right, after finally getting this backed out, Here's how you put on the new one. So basically take your hardware and transfer it directly to the new one. Okay, after you get that most of the way on, switch your uh, ratchet to the other way if you're using one, and then get under these teeth with your screwdriver, or try to at least, and get that down enough so that it doesn't move. See, I still need to tighten mine a little bit. So I'll get that tightened, and then we'll go back to the truck. Alright, now we'll take our new pulley and put it on. Alright, to make sure it's on nice and tight. Okay, that ought to be enough. Now we'll just take this off and put the tensioner back on. Right, put the belt back on and tighten the tensioner. Put that 
slipped over the alternator pulley. And make sure that the belt is square underneath the idler pulley that you just replaced, otherwise it'll fly off when you start it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and start it up and make sure everything's fine.